Hey everybody, my name is Diane Gale and welcome to my channel. Today you and I are going to make sesame ginger dressing together. It is out of this world, it is easy to do, it is less expensive than buying store-bought dressing, it is better for you than store-bought dressing, and once you start making your own dressings, you will never go back. We are going to start with a pint jar. I'm going to use a pint jar and an immersion blender. You can do this in a regular blender. You can do this by hand. I'm gonna do the immersion blender today. I'm gonna to start by putting a half a cup of olive oil into my pint jar, and I am going to follow that up with three tablespoons of rice vinegar, two tablespoons of amino acids. Now you can use soy sauce in this if you prefer. Amino acids are better for you. They're a little saltier, well, they're quite a bit saltier, and they have a lot more flavor. We are also going to put a tablespoon of sesame oil in here and two tablespoons of honey. Raw local honey is always best if you can get it. That is not what I am using here today. Don't let not having a specific type of ingredient keep you from making something. Just making it from scratch makes it better for you. Um, and you can always get those ingredients later and do it differently when you have them. I have one tablespoon of chopped garlic and one tablespoon of very roughly chopped ginger. Now, if you are not doing this with an electronic mixer of some sort, you're going to want to mince your garlic and your ginger very fine, but because I'm doing this with the immersion blender, the immersion blender will do that work for me. Now that all of that is in the pint jar, I'm gonna take my immersion blender and blend it all up. This dressing blends very easily and rather quickly, but do make sure that you give your blender time to chop up all of that ginger. And then I'm going to take a tablespoon of toasted sesame seeds, drop them in there, and stir them up. Now you can put them in before you blend, but your blender is going to bust them all up. You're not gonna have sesame seeds in your dressing. Um, they'll add flavor, but I like to have them in my dressing. You can also skip putting them in all together and just use them when you use the dressing. So when you put the dressing on your salad or your veggies or whatever you're gonna use it for, just add a little sesame seeds over top as well. This dressing is simple, it's easy, it's delicious, and it tastes really fabulous and you're gonna love it. I hope that you're going to make yourself this salad dressing. I hope that you are going to make yourself some of the other dressings that I have done for the channel. I will link them all down below. There's 14 or 15 of them all together. Um, and as they're available, I'll put the links down there so you can make as many of them as you like. They're all fabulous. As I said, better for you, cheaper, easy 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 to do go ahead and make yourself some enjoy every bite thank you so much for joining me here today we're going to get together again and we're going to do it really soon